Hey everyone, this is Ruth from Stilio Apps and in today's video I will take you through setting up a call to action on your thank you page with Reconvert. A call to action is basically a button. You can direct it wherever you want in your store or out of it. Let's get started and see exactly how to set it up. We are in the Reconvert dashboard and in order to add a call to action I'm going to go in to our active template and actually add that on the page builder. So I'm gonna click customize. So I have a blank template here and I need to choose what side I want to add my call to action to. And in my case, I'm gonna put it on the right side, but it's really up to you. So I'm gonna click right side, right area, add section. And all I have to do is find the call to action, which is right here and click add. The call to action is basically a button and a text and you can really do whatever you want with it. We wanted to give you a widget where it's not really just a discount or a specific link. It's completely up to you. In this case, maybe I want to let them know about a new Facebook group that we've just opened for our store for all of our customers to join. So what I'm going to do is first of all change the text here. Okay, so I've changed the text, but it's not looking really good. So we're going to fix this, don't worry. First of all, let's turn this into a title. Give it a heading, maybe a bit smaller, just a little bit. I changed the text a little bit, but I'm still not sure about what it looks like because I actually want the text to be above the button. So the next thing you can do is choose a layout, either horizontal or vertical. And I'm gonna change it into vertical just so the text can be above the button. So now that it is above the button, I see new issues. First of all, let's add a space here so we have some space. And second, let's make the whole text aligned to the center. And I think also we might want to just increase the text size just a tiny bit. So for the heading, let's go back to a bigger heading. I think this is good. And for the actual body text, I can make it a 16. There we go. Now I really like the text. Of course, you can also play around with the colors. So in this case, let's say I want to give it a greener color that is closer to my actual store colors. There we go. I, actually, I think maybe we need to make the green a little darker so it actually looks good better right going down we can change the text of the button the default text is action and you actually want to replace that with the action that you want your customer to take i'm going to change the word group to community just to make it sound a little more inclusive you know there we go join the community now and you can change the button color and text here but i'm not going to touch it because by default reconvert takes the colors from your checkout buttons and settings in general so I want to keep everything cohesive maybe in this case because this is for a Facebook group you might want to go for Facebook blue here but it's really up to you and then lastly and possibly most importantly you want to change the link to the actual destination that you want to give your customers you want this uh, button to send them to in this case I'm gonna keep the uh, original redirect URL because I don't ha actually have a planters and enthusiast Facebook group we're going to save this and it's really simple but let's go ahead and just look at what this button looks like on a thank you page so I have a thank you page prepared here for a uh, pre-made order I'm gonna check it out and we have our beautiful call to action button text everything and when I click it I'm going to be redirected back to the store because I didn't actually change the button link but if you have a different location a different destination it's going to direct them there now lastly when it comes to the call to action if we're going back to the reconvert dashboard we can scroll down and actually see a table with all of our elements that we've added to our thank you page and some of their analytics so for the call to action as you can see I've just added it I have one impression for it. Let's refresh it. Okay, now you can see my click in the call to action. Now, if I have completed an order through this uh, click, it would be counted here, even though the button doesn't always have to be a converting widget, it might send them to a completely different website and different store. That's also okay. If you have any questions, feel free to just drop them down below and I would be happy to answer. We read all of your questions and answer all of them. If you like the app, if you get success with Reconvert, we would love it if you could leave us a review on the Shopify app store. It helps us out a lot and it helps us reach other merchants like you who can use a little bit of a boost in their conversions. 
This is it. Your call to action is all set up in your store. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us in any way that you want. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like on this video and click the bell notifications. I will see you in the next one.